Editing quickly in Lightroom and Photoshop is extremely important for creators like ourselves. That's where the tour box comes in. What's up? This is John from John Rest for Photography. And today we're gonna be checking out a cool little product, the tour box. Basically this thing helps you edit quickly and efficiently in programs such as Lightroom and Photoshop or any other creative programs that you wanna use it in. Torbox sent this my way a couple of months ago and I've been using it ever since and it's actually a really cool little product. I'm still practicing to be able to be very fast with it, but so far the application for it is really, really awesome. So let's talk a little bit about this product and who it's for. So again, the Torbox is an editing device to help you quickly get to things that usually take key commands so that you don't have to really use a keyboard anymore, maybe just a mouse and the Torbox. It comes in around $200, and at the taping of this video, it's currently on sale for $169. And at $169, it's actually a really good value for what you're getting. The build of this thing is really awesome. I was actually surprised at how it felt, the weight of it, and also just overall the knobs and all of the buttons. I mean, the buttons have such a satisfying click to them. Just listen to it. There's also rubber feet. So this thing is not gonna fall or slide off your desk. It's gonna sit right in place while you're using it. Each knob or button on the tour box also can be set to different settings within the programs you're using it in. And mind you, it's not just Lightroom and Photoshop. You can use it in Final Cut or any other program that you're using for any type of creative editing. There's two USB ports on the back and it connects with USB-C. Also, it works both on Mac and PC, so no matter what you're editing with, you're gonna be able to use the TourBox. When you first get your TourBox, you wanna get on the website and download the software for it. The TourBox console is where you manage your TourBox, all the presets that it already has with Lightroom and Photoshop, as well as creating your own presets. What's cool about the presets you make as well is you can share them with other users. And on their website, there's a whole bunch of presets already made for all types of different applications made by different users. So make sure to check that out. I have a link in the description as well so you can look at that stuff. The installation of the console is super easy and once you have your tour box plugged in and the console open, you're ready to start working. Yet again, the tour box already comes with presets for Lightroom and Photoshop. So instead of just talking about it, let's go ahead and jump in those programs and see how it works. So we're gonna start out with Lightroom. This is probably hands down my most used program as a photographer and a wedding photographer. I use dual monitors, so on one monitor I have Lightroom and on the other I have the TourBox console. This way it's easier for me to see what each button does. Another thing to point out on my other monitor is the little D-pad icon on the bottom right corner. This also shows me what each button does. So you see every time I press a button, it'll show what it does. And this is a great way to get used to the TourBox when you're first using it. So you see here I have my exposure. I have contrast, temperature, and tint. And I can easily get to all this stuff and not have to go all the way over to the right side and get to the different sliders. So let's go ahead and actually edit this photo. So I'm gonna start out with my preset. Shout out to the Natural Fills preset, link is in the description. We'll change our exposure. And I think everything else is looking pretty good in this photo, but if I want to, I can change the tint a little bit. Maybe the temperature. And get to my shadows. And yeah, it makes it extremely easy and quick to just edit photos and not have to worry about a keyboard and hitting command, whatever. You just have everything right here, mouse and keyboard setup. I love it. Next up is probably my most used program, which is Final Cut. I do all of my YouTube content in here. So first we have to go over to the TourBox console and make sure that it's set to Final Cut. So here's my Final Cut preset. And once I turn that on, now all the buttons and knobs are for Final Cut. So you can see I can do things like zoom in and out, I can move by frame. I can play and stop. I'm shooting with the good old GFX 100 today. 
Obviously, I've had this for two weeks, so I'm loving it so far. I can easily make cuts. And I can also undo and redo. And there's just a lot of different things that I can do very quickly. And again, the Torbox console is what I look at on my other monitor to help me know which button does which. And last but not least, let's take a quick look at Photoshop. So I don't use Photoshop too often. I only use it for filling in things that I need to get rid of. So this is the program I use the least and don't understand, but it works great with the Torbox. So let's go back to our console again and switch to our Photoshop preset. Now we see all of our different buttons here and everything they do. Fill is probably the number one thing I use most. So let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm gonna pick my lasso. I'm gonna choose the area and let's see, let's see if Photoshop can fill it in. And that was the top and down. There's our content aware fill. And there it is. So yet again, the tour box is super fast. Once you get to know it and you know the key commands like the back of your hand, you're gonna be flying through this thing, doing all types of things like changing your brush sizes and filling in areas and just all kinds of stuff. It really is an awesome little tool. So what do you all think of the tour box? I've been loving using it recently and it's really awesome. I'm still trying to get used to it, but soon enough I will be a master in speeding through my edits. If you can see yourself using the tour box, let me know in the comments below. I'm actually very curious to see what you all think about the tour box and if it's something you would work into your own workflow. Again, I hope this information was useful for you all. And if you're interested in the tour box, make sure to check the link in the description below. You can pick one up for yourself. If you like this stuff, hit the thumbs, hit the subscribe for more information on creative entrepreneurship and different products like this to help you edit quicker. Thanks again for hanging out and I'll catch you all next time. All right, peace.